Hello everyone, so in this lesson I'm going to show you the different kinds of numbers. So at the top here I've got all these different letters. Now let's quickly define them. So R stands for real. R with a little line means not real or non-real. Q stands for rational. Q with a line is irrational, which means not rational. Z stands for integer. N stands for natural. N with a little zero stands for whole numbers. So the number four, is it real? Can you see it? Yes, so it can't be this one, so I'm gonna put a little X there. Rational is any number that can be written as a fraction. So four is the same as four over one. So yes, it is rational, which means it's not irrational. Integers are the numbers like minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on and so on. It's the numbers that can be negative and positive, but they must be complete. They mustn't be numbers like minus one comma seven, eight, three, not that. So the number four is an integer, natural numbers. Now, if I asked you to start counting, you would start by saying one, two, three, four. So four is a natural number, it's also a whole number. Whole numbers start at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. The number three is obviously they're gonna be the same as the number four. There's no major difference between them. Square root of 25. Now students panic when they see this, but guys, square root of 25, what is that? That is five. And so we can actually cross this out and pretend that it's a five. Now if it's a five, then it follows the same as three and four. The number zero is real. It's rational because zero is the same as zero over one, so you can write it as a fraction. It is an integer. It's not a natural number because when you count naturally, you start at one. It is a whole number though because you start at zero. If you type this on your calculator, try that quickly. What you'll see is that you're gonna get an error. Now you get two different kinds of errors. When it's because of a square root, then we call that non-real or not real, so it's this one, which means it can't be that one, and it can't be any of the others. I wanna add one more. If we have the number three over zero, go ahead, type that in on your calculator, and you're gonna get an error again. Oh, I should have added another column over here. I do apologize, called undefined. When you have an error due to a zero underneath, then that's called undefined, and it can't be any of the other ones. Undefined, think of it as when the zero is underneath. You can have a zero on top like that, that just gives you zero, so that's okay. But what you don't want is a zero underneath. Here's another set of numbers. If you type in pi on your calculator, you'll see that it's like 3.14, and then the numbers don't repeat. If the numbers do repeat, like 1414141414, the whole time, that is called rational. So remember, rational is any number that can be written as a fraction or it's when the digits repeat. But pi, the digits do not repeat. So that is, oh, it's still a real number. Can you see pi? Yeah, I can see it, so it's a real number. It's not gonna be rational though. It's gonna be irrational. Is it an integer? No, because integers are whole, they are complete. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, like that. Is it natural? No, if I count from one, two, three, I don't go one, two, three, three comma one, four. No, I say one, two, three, four. Is it a whole number? No. Is it undefined? No, it is defined. The number minus four. Is it real? Yes, you can see it. Is it, so obviously it's not non-real. It is rational because minus four is the same as minus four over one. So it can't be that one. Is it an integer? Yes, it is, because it's minus four, minus three, minus two. Is it natural? No, you're not gonna count that if you were counting. And is it a whole number? No, it's not, and it's not undefined. If you type this on your calculator, you're not gonna get an error. You only get an error when you have a negative inside a normal square root, or any even number, like four, six, or two. So what I would say is, if you're in an exam, type it in on your calculator, and if you get an error, then obviously it's, that's a problem. But with this one, you wouldn't get an error. You would get minus two. The number minus two is real. It's rational. It's an integer, but it's not natural, and it's none of these other ones.
2 over 0. Type it in on your calculator because if you're in a test, you don't want to think, wait, can the 0 be at the bottom or is it at the top? What did Kevin say? Guys, just type it in on the calculator and you're going to get an error. But that error is because of the 0 that is underneath. And so it's under find. And that's all. All the others will not work. Square root 5. Type it in on your calculator and you're going to get some weird, you're going to get something like 2 comma, and I'm just going to make this up, 1, 4, 7, 8, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 6, 8. So there's no pattern. The numbers are not repeating like up at the top here. So that is not going to be rational. That is irrational. But first, is it real? Yes, we can see it. Is it so it's obviously not that one. Is it rational? No, because the digits aren't repeating, so it must be rational. It's not an integer, it's not natural, it's not a whole number, and it's not undefined. And so there we have it, guys. You might have to watch this a few times just to practice, but those are the different types of numbers that you need to know. Just one more thing. Undefined is when you have a zero underneath, and non-real is when you have an error, but when it's from a square root, then we call that non-real. That's the only non-real that we have. So there's only two kind of errors. When you have a zero underneath, then we call it undefined. And when you have an error from a square root, then it's called non-real, which is this one over here. Thanks for watching.